Dibble and dabble a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I saw conscious. Uh, when I kiss you, I get a spark. Your body a work of art, horny thoughts after dark. Used to stay up late to just talk. We was moving fast, trying not to get caught. Damn, your skin so soft. Let me open up your heart, cause life too short till death do its part. Uh, knew it from the start, you'd be the one I'm pushing cards with in the supermarket. Hey guys! Hey, six hours later, um, we made it to Washington, D.C. We're here. Uh, Brianna's here. She's my roommate for the weekend. And. Yeah, we got, it's been a journey. It's been a stressful day, very much so. But I'll get into that after we show you guys the Airbnb because we've already had so much stress over Airbnb situations that I feel like we deserve to like relish in this moment. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> so yeah, you enter and... I'm so sorry. It's a what? I'm so sorry. No, continue. continue. Oh, I didn't even think about I'm where so the sorry. fridge I'm was. So no, it's okay. Beautiful. I didn't see it. Okay, it'll get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you enter and then surprise. She wanted to close the door so it would be a surprise for you guys. But this is the bathroom. And I feel like this already just like makes me extremely happy. Like getting ready in here versus like the one that we were going to go to. I feel like this will uplift my spirits. Like look at how bright this is. I love when mirrors have like these like light strips on it because I feel like you could actually maybe I don't like it because I feel like it shows me a little bit too much of my pores so I'm feeling a little bit insecure in this mirror but yeah here's the marvelous bathroom I really like this honestly like this place I was gonna say that this place reminds me of my old DC apartment but honestly my old DC apartment had nothing on this place like nothing um because there's actually a bedroom Here's the bedroom. I did not have this in my old apartment. I had a box. Oh, sure. This is actually really cute. And it's not even a real wall. It's kind of like glass. Yeah. I wonder if it opens. That, if that opens, that'd be kind of cool. Sick. That'd be cool. Really be sick. It has like a little mirror. Wow, it actually looks really nice. There's like great lighting in here. There's like closet space. Oh, I should probably like hang out my jacket. Oh, an extra pillow. I brought my pillowcase because. I don't know. We'll have to decide our sleeping situation because I don't know if I'm going to share with you tonight or if I'm going to sleep on the couch. Either or is perfectly fine. I feel like I have to test out the couch because I'm a good couch sleeper. Like I could sleep on the... Wow. It's Washer so dryer. That was definitely a lot better than my DC apartment was. That's actually like a full size one. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be washing clothes, but yeah. And then this is like so fire this is like the living you know living room area there's like even like dining room space they set it up with like bowls plates like all, i mean now we have to cook a meal we have to cook a breakfast um and then bam like island i didn't even see the bar stools before but we have bar stools this little island soft clothes soft clothes <laughs> soft clothes look at us look at us we should open up wait i didn't crazy that's so crazy because guys i genuinely thought it was a cabinet no this place is so fancy i walked past this like three times and did not realize this is a fridge this, this is so bougie i want to i want to i wish i was staying here for like a week but then i would go bankrupt so you know it's do it for a weekend and not go bankrupt Oh, is that the disposer? <laughs> we got. Oh wait, I need to change my battery. Sorry, intermission over. I had to switch my battery. But we were showing you the kitchen. Beautiful, beautiful kitchen. Like full, like gas stove. Like I didn't even have a gas stove before. I don't know why I'm comparing this. They gave us a full knife set. I don't know what I need with a full knife set, but. And then Brianna found this. Here is the. Oh no, it's this one. Yeah. Oh, like that. Here's the microwave under here. Yeah. So far, there's like, like a little desk area. Balcony. I gotta do the living room first. Here's the living room. So I'm deciding, like this couch looks pretty comfy. I haven't sat in it yet. Do I think it's pull out? Wait, it might be a pull out bed. I think it's a, no. I don't know, I have to check that. 
Um, I'll have to see if it's a pull-out bed. If not, honestly, I'm fine sleeping on it like this. Like, when this is my room, like, when this is the accompanying space, I'll be fine with this couch. Whoa, like, that's more than enough. There. Under the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. This is, wow, this is sick. Here's the TV. And then this is kind of like the selling point. Like, you can't really, like, see it in the dark perfectly, but it's still just, like, with the lights even looks nice. Look at that guy. Oh, no, it looks so nice. Wow. But, yeah, I don't even know, like, what direction is what. Like, I don't know where I could, like, point out the capital. But, yeah, we got, like, a, not even a little balcony. Like, this is a large balcony. So, it's going to be a pretty good weekend. Look at Rihanna. This looks, like, so luxurious. This feels like a vacation. This is legitimately vacation. But let's give you the, oh, we probably have to figure it out. I just have to figure out the Wi-Fi. Okay, but I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown and then, oh shoot, I, we kinda have to go. Um, yeah, yeah, you, you do your wig and then I'll do mine cause it's one mirror. So, it was like a very stress inducing morning for me. First of all, the reason we're in Washington DC is because it's Howard homecoming weekend. So yeah, basically we just came to like have fun, come to Howard, there's Yard Fest tomorrow and they haven't released the lineup. So we don't know who's performing, but if you don't know what Yard Fest is, basically it's this free concert and like anybody could go. Um, and they normally have pretty big performers and we don't know who it is this year. And then Saturday, I think, is the football game, the tailgate, and some other stuff. And then we leave Sunday, like Sunday afternoon. So, yeah, that's why we're here. And we had, like, kind of, like, been planning this out for a while. But, like, staying is just, like, a really big, I don't know, it was just, like, such an issue. I think because even though we were planning it for a while, it was still, like, last minute to get, like, hotels. And stuff was so expensive. And I... I genuinely hate that I'm 20 and not 21, not because I cannot drink alcohol, but because I cannot stay in a, in a hotel room and check into a hotel room if I'm not 21. Some of them are 18 plus, but the one that we were originally going to stay at was a 21 plus hotel. And I didn't realize that. And I booked it and it was going to be all great. Like it was literally like a place like this. Like it was kind of apartment style, Airbnb, and it was going to be good and dandy. And then I realized it was 21 plus and I was like, shoot. And then I was like, okay, let's just do Airbnb because they normally don't have a like 21 plus requirement. Normally it's just like 18. So, but the Airbnb prices were crazy. And I guess it's because people like booked it up very far in advance. Like everything close to the school, um, like walking distance was just what, $500 a night, like crazy stuff. So yeah, so we had ended up finding a place and we booked it and it was good and dandy. We thought everything was good. And literally last night in the middle of the night, apparently the host of the Airbnb uh, had messaged me and said that they had to cancel because of maintenance issues. And this is literally like less than 24 hours before I'm getting on the six hour bus ride to come here. So I'm like, I'm getting on a bus and I have nowhere to stay. Like me, me and Brianna have nowhere to stay. Like what is gonna happen? So I sent me down a spiral. Also, I was in the middle of class. I just ended up leaving class because I was just like my brain, I was about to break down into tears. And then I found this Airbnb last minute and it was like a little bit more expensive, but honestly, like for the weekend, we're living luxury. So I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that I'm here and I'm grateful that everything with the Airbnb is working out so far because I definitely like, I got off the bus and I still had anxiety. Like I've had anxiety for the past 12 hours, I would say. And it's not a comforting feeling. Um, but now I'm feeling good and I'm feeling hype and I'm ready for this weekend. So now I'm gonna get ready. I ha will not get ready. I just have to like lay down my wig. Um, and then we're gonna go get ramen, hopefully. It closes pretty soon, so I, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. And then we'll see where the we'll see where the night takes us. We'll see. But yeah. Yeah. Welcome to homecoming. Oh, there's no back to this, so I will fall off. Okay, like five hours later, we're ready. And we can't go to the ramen place. But I'm gonna go eventually. Like I need to go to this ramen place, so maybe tomorrow. 
Yeah, so now we're gonna head out. We have no idea where we're going, but main priority is food. So, yeah. I'll take some clips on my phone. I It takes me like 12 hours to like try to do this wig because like I'm not used to it and it's a frontal. So I'm trying to get the hang of it. So if it looks crazy, please don't bully me. We're on our way to get some pizza. pizza. And we're, we're by campus. I don't know what we're doing yet because the thing that we're supposed to go to, you're gonna have to be 21 plus. And I'm not 21 plus. Oh, you're, oh shoot, you're not 20. It's right there, yeah. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Is it walk? It's walk. guys I'm in a bit of a rush because today's Friday so today's yard fest um, which is the free concert that I was telling you guys about and you kind of got to get there like early to get like a good spot like it's kind of like rolling loud vibes where you kind of just first come first serve like if you get there early enough to get a front row seat then that's what you get and if did I tell you guys about the lineup? I don't know. So there's speculation because they still have not released it to... Wait, to this morning, I think they have not released it. Wait, Brianna, they still haven't released it. Nope. It's literally the day of. I don't think they've done that before. Which also, I feel like that increases my theory. We have a theory that Drake is coming. Because Drake performed at Howard Homecoming 10 years ago. I think it's the 10 year anniversary. So, you know, nostalgia. And he also just performed at the Spellhouse Homecoming, which is like Spellman and Morehouse. Basically, I feel like he's doing like the major HBCU tour. And you can't do a major HBCU tour without coming to the real HU, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's definitely giving Drake is our headliner. And I don't know how to feel about that. I've never seen Drake in person. I've never breathed the same air as Drake. I feel like just knowing that Drake is in my presence, scary. Like that will be intense in itself. <laughs> I feel like the fact that they haven't released the lineup like solidifies that as Drake because even I think two years ago when it was like what the baby and Saweetie, like people knew the morning up that it was the baby and Saweetie. But I feel like you know, them not releasing the lineup on the morning of the event is unprecedented. I feel like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I feel like that's pretty unprecedented. And I feel like that means that it's definitely Drake because they probably don't want like so many, so many people knowing that Drake is there and just like showing up from like all of the DMV or whatever, or like driving down to see Drake. I don't know, it's gonna be an intense day. Also. Chloe and Hallie are on campus, and that's pretty cool. I swear, if DDG was with Hallie, and DDG's on this campus, and I don't get to meet DDG, it's gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a bad, bad day. Last night, we didn't end up doing anything at all. We went out to meet our friends, and then we got some pizza, and then our friends went into this event, but it was 21 plus, so I couldn't get in, Brianna could get in, but I would have been all alone, so she kindly stayed with me. And then we tried to do other things, and it was just like falling through. Because I also didn't realize that like people have school today, like it's a Friday, and you know people have classes and stuff. So everybody kind of went to bed early, but it's fine because we went. Where did we go? We like walked around a bit, and then got subway, and then we just chilled. So it was kind of like a chill night. Nothing much to share, nothing much to show. I'm not gonna bring my camera to Yard Fest and I'm like, this camera is like huge. And I don't think I'm bringing a bag. So that's the thing, like, I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera. But hopefully you guys don't mind um, phone vlog footage because, what? No, it's still like, it's like fragile. I don't wanna like, you know? But a vlog on my phone, swear, swear. And I'll probably like get more footage on my phone because I'll be less shy to like whip out my phone. This Airbnb is so marvelous. Like this genuinely, like I woke up this morning, opened up the blinds and I was like, 
This makes me want to move out. <sighs> but I live in freaking New York City where I can't afford to move out. Slay the day away. New York really needs to get their act together. Cause why, like, why can nobody afford your cost of living? Unless I'm like Jeff Bezos or like a finance brother that works at Google. Like that's not all of us. That's not all of us. And I feel like the difference between New York is that like you could find apartments and stuff like that. But like because New York is so old and historical, like a lot of the buildings that you'll find are like walk ups and stuff like that. Like I like new like high rise buildings that have like a gym and like um, a common area. Like I like stuff with like amenities and stuff like that. Luxury condos, they call it. Sometimes they're not luxury, but they just call it that once you put like a gym and stuff in it. But New York doesn't have a lot of those. And the ones that they do have are extremely expensive just because they're not really like, well, they are building a lot of new buildings. But like, if you want to stay in Manhattan, getting a building like that is, oh, that's like unheard of because Manhattan is like very historical. So you're normally going to live in like a five floor walk up with no washer dryer and no dishwasher. Did you hear what I said though? What did you say no, Imagine if, imagine if Flo Millie is here. I would actually. I would cry. Feeling my stuff, I'll get seated. A five. But then, Why am I even giving it a good score? What? Well, a five is bad. A five. <laughs> but I didn't say like a two. Okay, let me. Okay, give it, Brenna. 
Huh? What, give your rating of your yeah, fish. I'd give it about a proper seven. 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 Oh, That's okay, hot. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, seven and a half. Seven yeah. and a half. Okay, I'll tell you why. For the reason. So the reason is because... <laughs> it was nice seeing the artists, yes. But like the pushing, the people, the rubbing, the touching, the... the 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 yeah. Oh, what do you rate it, Jayla? Bring, Bobby, bring it down to a three. <laughs> Basically, guys, can't decide the rating. It was bad because it was really bad. <laughs> and, and at the beginning of this vlog, I spoke so highly of it too. I was like, Drake is coming. Mm. <laughs> Drake, not, Drake not even in this tax bracket. <laughs> Drake is not here. We had, we had Glorilla and Flo Millie. Those are our main ones. And, and Jacquees. We also had Jacquees. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What do you rate it? What do you rate it? I rated uh four. Four, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Basically, the people that, that should have been here, that were expected to be here, the baby, right? We could have had a <laughs> wham, 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 you know what I mean? Right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> a, a Meg baby. moment, um, 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 a Drake moment, nothing, nothing, nothing. We were given Jacques and we were given Glorilla and Flo Millie, which I love them, you know, Glorilla and Flo Millie. But I feel like those, I feel like those, <laughs> but he was running around in a tracksuit, though. Um, I didn't know it was him either because his dress looked a little different. Yeah, that's what you did. Jack, Jack, what? Everybody was not confused. I didn't know. But yeah, it was it was kind of a letdown. And then they take. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. And then. <laughs> we're going to. I'm sorry. We're going to. Bro, I've been eating mad bad food. Why are we not doing hiking? You just said hiking. She, 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 cause she's like she's. I'm we just have to make decisions for her at this point. Oh. Anyways, guys. <laughs> Spellman had a better homecoming. Spellman had a much better homecoming. Howard is no longer the top HBCU after this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They can redeem themselves, but after this, it's gonna be nice. After this, no. Hola, amigos. <sighs> it's another day. It's Saturday today. Today is the tailgate and the football game, but we don't have tickets to the football game. It starts at one. So we might see if we'll be able to like get in or at least see it through like the gates and stuff like that. But they were just charging a lot for the football game. Like tickets were $50. And you know, I've gone to the school before and I've gone to like football games before. And I feel like that stadium, stadium is nowhere near worth $50 you know to sit in so I just I just I don't think I would be able to bring myself to pay that much for it I feel like I do a terrible job at vlogging once I leave the house and I don't know it's just because like there's so many people and there's so much going on and yeah vlogging at yard fest yesterday was just I it the the small clips I got were even like a stretch because it was just like so many people so many people and it was so loud and there's just like music so yeah i'm sorry if there's like not that much footage from yard fest i'll try my best tailgate to get some some good content some good footage but honestly majority of what we do is walk and stand so like i try to like you know get content of stuff but there's only so much of like walking and standing that I could record for you guys. But that's I genu like that's genuinely what we do. Like yesterday, we were standing from 10 a.m. to basically 6 p.m. Um, just in a crowd of people. I mean, I think I talked about this yesterday. How like Yard Fest was kind of kind of a bust. And I feel like when I'm saying something's a bust, it's definitely a bust because I normally give stuff like the benefit of the doubt, and I'm like, oh well, blah blah. No, this was just really bad. And honestly, I think it's the fact that like Spellman 
and Morehouse had a better homecoming than the real HU and Howard is supposed to be known for their homecoming like people literally fly out for Howard homecoming and I feel like they're kind of losing that status they, they, they definitely have lost a lot of people's trust because this was definitely not like top tier homecoming vibes at all and I feel like there was just so much miscommunication like they did not release the lineup and now I feel like they didn't release the lineup because they were trying to make sure that people would show up because I feel like if people saw that lineup in advance no one would have showed up until like six o'clock so yeah I guess I'll do like I could do like a quick little makeup go over I kind of do the same thing but the thing that's been really like helping my makeup routine actually guys is this MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 Broad Spectrum SPF 15 foundation. This, I mean I've never tried, I've only tried like a few other foundations, but this, 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 if you can get your hands on this, go get your hands on this. And this is coming from somebody that's like not good at makeup or anything like that. But like this is so, it's like full coverage, but it's as lightweight as a concealer. So it doesn't feel heavy and I literally just like put this all over my face I blend it into my fingers and like I'm good with like one layer. It's phenomenal I genuinely love this Mac really did their thing with this so Highly suggest I literally just put a few dots and then I blend it in like with my finger a little bit The coverage is just so good and then I feel like I really got my perfect shade match so It really does like it just feels like dewy skin vibes and again like that's coming from somebody that like i know nothing about makeup but like i know that this is a good foundation i don't know if you can see it's not fully blended out but like i had so many acne scars on this side and they just disappear gone 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 i go with my brush after my finger a little bit to just make sure it doesn't look terrible like honestly homecoming two years ago like the year right before i came Right before I went to Howard. Oh no, it might have been three years ago. That homecoming was so much better than this one we had because they had Kanye doing a Sunday service. And I know Kanye is a little problematic right now, but you know, three years ago he was like really cool. Like I would still, I'd be like Kanye West, like if Kanye West came to my school, that would be crazy. And then they had like the baby, so weavy, like I feel like they had I don't know what happened this year. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Calamari. 
game guys it was a it was a blowout we did good so good um and yeah i'll explain how i got into the game later because it's a little too loud with the music in here but it was actually like i feel like it was like meant to be it was meant to be Brooklyn homecoming has come to an end yeah we have to check out but our bus isn't until five I didn't update you from last night like I just never update you once the night comes because stuff just gets confusing and it gets boggled and like it's just too hard I, like I don't know I don't know last night I didn't end up making it to a party because all of them were either really expensive or like sold out or the line was long, or they got shut down by the police. So, yeah, I couldn't really go to anything, but I ended up getting Diversified, which is my favorite food truck here. So, I'm glad that I got that. That was about it. Like, literally, I didn't really do anything last night. I didn't even tell you guys how we got into the game, but basically, this guy just, like, came up to us. Hopefully I'm not putting him on blast, but I mean, it's it's a football game. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But he just came up to us and he was like, I can get you guys in the game. You just come with me and then pay me $20. And at first I was like, mm, this sounds scammer worthy. Like, this sounds like a scam. Absolutely not. Like, this sounds scary. Like, what are you trying to do? But then he was like this older man. Like, it wasn't like he was young. So I was like, is he really, is this older man really about to scam these kids, you know? So I was just like, hey, let's do it. Like, he was like, it's going to be $20, which the tickets for the game, if I bought it in advance, would have been $50. $50. I was just like, fine, let's do it. So we did it. And then he got us in. And then we paid him the money. And then that was that. So I was like, oh, okay. He was actually just being nice, like, that was really nice of him. So, yeah, I got to see the game, and we won, and that was fun. It's, like, cool to just people watch, honestly. Like, I spend a lot of time just, like, people watching, like, people's fits and, like, hair and everything. Like, everybody just looks so, like, 10 out of 10. I don't know. What would I give my overall homecoming rating? Um, um, I don't know. I would give it, like... Maybe like a seven and a half, eight, maybe more so like a seven. I don't know. I think I had high expectations and it didn't meet my expectations of like litness. If I could give you a truth about Howard Homecoming, like one truth, Howard Homecoming is what you make it. If you expect Howard Homecoming to be like, like fun on its own, like the aspect of it to be fun on its own, I feel like you're going to be disappointed but if you go there and you just make the fun like if you just make fun out of a bad experience like for example like yard fest how yard fest was kind of like a, not kind of how yard fest was a letdown just like make fun of that experience too like it, it it's still gonna be fun no matter what that's my that's my truth and that's my advice mini mini rant it's not really a rant but i am so frustrated with basically every social media platform right now. I'm very frustrated and I'm very disappointed in 
the way that social media is progressing or regressing in my opinion. I opened up Instagram today to post my carousel and I selected my, you know, 10 photos as you normally do. And when I went to select and press next, they halted me and they were like, wait, this would make a really good reel. First of all, shut up. And then they were like, um, they were like, you can now add music over these photos and make it a carousel. And I'm like, so what TikTok introduced literally a month ago? Like each app is copying one another. TikTok copied Instagram by adding still photos into TikTok, which doesn't really make sense because TikTok is a photo, no, TikTok is a video app. So I don't, I don't understand why they needed to add photos, but the fact that they added it with like sound over it, so you do the carousel, made more sense because at least it's still like video content, kind of. It's like a, it's like a video slideshow. But Instagram doing it now, like now you're just copying TikTok, copying you. It's like a cycle and it doesn't make any sense. Like every single thing that TikTok comes out with, Instagram is like, oh, we have this now also. Like the filters and stuff and like the green screens. And at the end of the day, the reason that it's stupid is A, you go to different social media platforms for different things. I go to TikTok if I wanna see funny, cute, short videos. That's it, that's it. You know, if I, if I see some photos, you know, maybe I'll just swipe past it, or maybe I'll look at it a little bit, but I go for short, quick, funny videos, or like, you know, some short content or whatever. I go down to Instagram expecting to see photos. That's what I expect. Not gonna lie, I scroll past most of the reels. Do you scroll past reels? I, sc yeah. I scroll past the reels. I don't see the point of me going on a photograph app and then seeing videos. You know, if I wanna see videos, I'm gonna go on TikTok. So, you know, it just really turns me away. Like, that's why I don't spend much time on Instagram anymore because now they just push so many reels and like, that's not what I wanna see. I wanna see people's pictures because I can't see people's pictures anywhere else because Instagram has such a unique factor where they're the only app right now that really has like a good photo type vibe going on but they're not like capitalizing on that and then now youtube wants to be tiktok with the youtube shorts and then the youtube stories it's all just very inauthentic very inauthentic Ooh, big right 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 yeah. and i feel like i understand like wanting to keep up with one another and i understand that when tiktok came out it like blew up and it like blew everything out of the water but that doesn't mean you go and make the same application like nobody wants the same three apps because then we're just gonna pick the best app and it's probably not gonna be the copycat it's probably gonna be the original so you know if anybody at instagram or tiktok or youtube is, oh did you know tiktok copy be real you saw that no. bro they i don't know if you updated your tiktok but there's this thing now they called it tiktok now but it's literally the same exact, like literally the same with the photo and then the other photo with the, the back camera. And they send you a notification. It's literally exactly Bye. like Be Real. Literally. And I got that I got that notification about the update. And I was like, are you crazy? They literally did not change a single thing about Be Real. And they just stole it. I'm like, Be Real should sue. This should be a lawsuit. Like I'm Jack and they're all in a room sitting down like okay, Yeah. So we're gonna do this this day and then we're gonna do this that day and this is how we're gonna do it. Yeah, so like Instagram, we're gonna steal this from you. Yeah, so Instagram Instagram we're gonna steal this in a month. So just be be aware. And then and then you you're allowed to steal this from us in, in two months. Like I feel like it either they they have to be sitting in a boardroom together or 100%. something. Something needs to be happening. I don't know. Cause I would feel bad if they're not communicating and then they're just stealing. Cause be real was like a smaller brand like you know they were a smaller up-and-coming social media platform so for tiktok to just steal their entire idea is very inauthentic and i feel like it's very rude but i don't know what are your guys thoughts on the way social media is going i feel like it's definitely regressing and i feel like people need to come back to their roots and like stop focusing on capitalization and profits and like just focus on the authenticity and then the capitalization will come like the reason Instagram, Tumblr, all of that was successful in the beginning was because it was new, it was fresh, and it was something that we needed. We don't need the same of everything, you know? That's just my two cents, guys. That's just my two cents.
I'm, I always see the editing clips where people like hold the mic and I always just think that that's so fun and fresh. Anyways, like 10 minutes after I filmed that last clip, I got a really daunting call from a DC number and I picked it up and the man said, hi, your bus is canceled. Please call bleep 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 to figure it out. That's kind of paraphrasing, but yes, they canceled my bus. The bus we were waiting for was canceled. In that second, heart dropped. I'm hyperventilating, but I'm like, okay, let me call this number, see what's going on. So I called the number that they gave me. They directed me to a very unhelpful customer service person. It was actually very mean. She was very rude to me. She was very mean, so I can call her unhelpful because she was very mean and very rude. And she basically said that they canceled the bus just because it wasn't working and that there were no more buses going to New York City because they were all sold out and that they couldn't put me on a bus going out that night and I would have to wait until the next day to get on a bus and I was like that cannot happen because I just checked out of my Airbnb and I have nowhere to stay I want to get home like I, I don't want to stay here overnight that's not what I plan to do I have school tomorrow I have a test tomorrow I had a midterm the next day she was basically like I can't help you. I can't help you. And I was like, well, can I get a full refund and some compensation? She was like, no, we don't do refunds. And I was like, I really had to clarify. Like, I, I promise you guys, I wish I recorded the conversation because I wasn't even coming at her crazy. I was not even raising my voice. I had no attitude, no tone in my voice. I literally just said to her, I was like, wait, so no one's getting on the bus. The bus isn't leaving and the bus is broken down but nobody that was supposed to get on the bus that isn't leaving is getting a full refund for the bus that they're not getting on? Silence. She tried to ghost me. She tried to ghost me. She literally just didn't respond. Me and Brianna were sitting there just like looking at each other for like a solid minute and a half. It was an awkward minute and a half of just silence where we were waiting for her to respond. And then I was like, ma'am, are you there? She was like, yeah. I was like, did you hear my question? She was like, yeah. attitude when you just ruined my you just ruined my weekend i don't understand what i did to you to deserve this type of animosity sorry i'm not speaking to the mic i kept asking like how do i get a refund like this should be refundable if i'm not getting on the bus and it wasn't my fault for not getting on the bus you kind of just took my money and scammed me because like you could have just stopped the bus and then taking everybody's money you know what i'm saying like that's scam like that's a scam you know like if it's not my you know like it's not like i didn't show up like you canceled the bus so cancel the purchase if you can Basically, she was like, there's nothing I can do. Goodbye. Literally, we had to figure it out. I was crying. Tears, but I had to suck back in the tears because I was like, okay, I gotta figure this out. Like, I'm the troubleshooter here. I'm the Virgo here. I need to figure this stuff out. So we looked up bus tickets, all these different type of buses, bootleg buses, scary buses, buses that might have their wheels fall off, everything under the sun. And we landed on some like mega bus tickets that were at 11 o'clock at night. That was the only one that wasn't sold out. You know what? I was like, I don't want to get this, but I was like, just in case nothing else comes up because those bus tickets are non-refundable <laughs> unless the bus breaks down, I guess. I, don't know. I was like, let me just get this. So I bought those tickets just in case. Thank God I did because I called my mom in my distress. And I was like, mom, what do I do? Like they kissed my bus. She was like, go there and try to see if they, you know, you could work some magic in person. <sighs> Fast forward, boop, 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 boop. We get to the station, we go to the bus section and we go to the to the, to the the Greyhound section and we're like, sir, what happened? Like, can you get me on a bus? I'm just a little girl. I'm just a little girl and I need to get home. I have a test tomorrow. He's like, there's nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do. But he did give me my full refund. So you know what? He didn't put up a fight. I was like, can I get a refund? He was like, yeah. And then he just, he did it. So that was fine and then we're like walking around we're like okay maybe we'll ask for a different bus and then this really nice he was a really nice sweet man he was honestly the only honest genuine authentic person an authentic worker that i met that night everybody else i don't know how much they hate their job or if they just have a vendetta but why are you mad at me why are you mad at me but this guy was so sweet and he was the only helpful person he was like, my bus comes in 30 minutes. This is the line for people that also got kicked out of the bus that you were on. And they're standing here waiting to see if people don't show up for my bus so that they can get onto my bus. So you guys can sit on this line. And then if this line fills up, then you guys can go onto this bus because this bus comes after my bus. And then if that bus fills up, then you guys can go onto the next, next bus. We were like, okay, sir, you just gave us a blank. You know, we're doing all that. We're standing on the line, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's long, it's two hours, three hour wait. It, long time 
long time of standing. Guy's bus comes and you know he's waiting he's waiting then he's like all right i could take two people but you know there was like an elderly group and ahead of us you know luckily they got on but we didn't so we moved on to the next bus and it really just it really just riles me up it really just riles me up how like anyways the next bus is like peter pan it's a peter pan bus i'm, I'm I'm saying their name. It's Peter Pan because this guy was mean. He was mean. So standing in the standby line, waiting to see if people are not going to show up for the bus that they purchased. And then when they're about to close the doors, they'll put on people that, you know, are in the standby line. And then they just play right there. This bus had some like seats empty and he was going through those two people ahead of us, two people ahead of me and Brianna. So he took those two people. He was like, blah, blah, blah. It's a hundred and something. Um, give me the money. And then they were like, and then you get on the bus. And then they handed him the money. They got on the bus. Then he came to us. And it was like, two people. And I was like, two people. And we were like, okay, okay, okay. He said the price. I was like, I don't even give a damn. I'm paying it. And I was like, okay, do you take Cash App, Zelle, Apple Pay, any type of virtual money transfer? He was like, no. No. Who doesn't have Cash App? Who doesn't have Zelle? Who doesn't have PayPal? Who doesn't have Apple Pay? Who, 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 who? He was just like, no. And then I'm scrambling, knowing damn well that I don't carry cash because I pay everything with Apple Pay. And then he just moves along. He's like, next ones. And then of course the next people just whip down some cash because there's some older people. I'm like, sir, you see us, we're two young women. We're two young women. But you know, I, I knew he wasn't gonna really rock with us from the beginning because you know, when we went up to him, we went up to his booth earlier when we first got there and we were asking him questions about his bus that was coming up and we were like, oh, what's the next bus? He was like, I have a six o'clock bus. And I was like, oh, okay, is there another bus after that? He was like, there's an eight o'clock bus. And I was like, oh, okay, do you know about the standby line for an eight o'clock bus? He was like, no, cause my job is over then. So you just gonna have to figure that out. Anyways, so we just ended up having to do the 11 o'clock bus and we just waited till 11 o'clock. At that point, it was like seven. So yeah, we had a lot of time and I ended up just studying for my midterm while we waited. We got on the mega bus and it was the most uncomfortable bus. Like not to complain because like I made it home safe and sound and that's like the only thing that matters, but do not take mega buses. All right. And also probably like don't take Greyhounds, but maybe take a Greyhound. I realized that I need to stop traveling in the afternoon and only travel in the morning because normally the first thing that leaves, if there's a plane, a train, or a bus, any form of transportation that's leaving, pick the first one. That's the one that is ready to go. There's no issues. It's not waiting to return. Like it's good. That's, that's your most safest bet. Anything after that first one gets shadier and shadier. You know, something could break down at one of those first trips and you don't know about. So i really learned that I need to only book stuff in the morning. Five o'clock was not the vibe at all. And that was basically the end of my homecoming trip. Probably will not be returning to Howard homecoming. We'll try something new next year. Maybe. I don't know. Not making any promises. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. This was a very stressful, traumatic day for me. And I'm glad that I can look back on it and tell the story lightheartedly because I took my midterm still waiting to get my grade back though but I think I did well so that's all that matters because that's what I was really stressed about I was like I have a midterm I have a midterm but yeah so see you guys later treated like a world man playing in that role while I'll lead you there yeah I do it so, 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 so,